prayer is an activity, but prayer is a relationship. Prayer is us and God. So prayer is a two-way street. So prayer is about what God is doing in and through us. And I want to share with you a verse that is becoming increasingly important to me at this time, not only in my life, but at this time in our country's life. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. It comes from St Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 15, verse 13. Sounds a very strange verse. How on earth can I have any hope? Well, that's the point, isn't it? It's not my human hope. We don't necessarily have human confidence we don't look around and think, oh, well, I've got confidence in this, that and the other. I've got confidence in myself. But as in prayer, I sit in the presence of God and I allow my sorrow and my very real fear about our nation and the problems that we face. And I allow my own fear about myself and my inadequacies and the troubles and I bring that realistically before God and unrealistically, because, of course, um, we all have our own foibles and our characters. And um, my, my, my dad used to call me melodramatic Annie. So we bring our real selves to God in prayer. And as we do that, our real selves, um, as, as I do that in prayer, uh, God, through his Holy Spirit, as we do that day by day by day by day, God can allow his glimmers of hope to be born in us. And we're all different, so I'm not saying just because I, in my prayer, can feel and sense glimmers of hope that you will be. But that's what this relationship with our loving Heavenly Father is, that the reality of our own relationship with God, glimmers of what God is bringing to you and to me will be born as we bring our real selves to this real journey and real relationship. So as I'm sharing with you that in my real relationship, I am sensing real glimmers of hope for me as I bring my real fears and my real prayers and my real concerns to God, I am sensing some glimmers of hope then I pray that you will bring your real concerns um, and real fears to God, that he may give you senses of hope, of joy, of whatever you need to hear in your real prayers uh, from him today.